What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? Today we're working on the fire truck again. This series is going good. There's a bunch of things that came in the mail today and I actually went to a junkyard and picked up something cool for the fire truck. Let's go check them out. Here's the first thing that I got. Check this out. It's a 100 gallon aluminum fuel tank. I got it for a really good price. And it comes with the steps and everything. So now I just gotta modify it to fit into the fire truck. This is exactly what I was looking for. I had a 40 gallon tank. I think it was like 40 gallons and I was like, it's not enough. I, I, I want more for this truck to be able to just go further without having to fill up so many times. So this tank is gonna work perfect. Let's check out what else we got. Boom, check this out. This came in the mail. Actually, this came in the mail a couple weeks ago. This is a build your own turnover ball by B&W Hitches. It's a weld in, I believe this says upside down, yeah. This goes like this, you weld that in, and then boom, you got a gooseneck hitch. And then also from B&W Hitch is a fifth wheel companion hitch that goes into the gooseneck. It's rated for 22,000 pounds, and it's gonna go somewhere in here. And now you're probably wondering, how is this hitch gonna work with the bed being on here? while being a tow truck. It's in here. <laughs> I got the whole design in my head. I'm not gonna tell you, well, you can kind of figure it out, but I'm not gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start installing the hitch, making all the bracketry and everything for in here. Uh, the bed's still gonna be able to dump, tilt, and slide back and everything while the hitch is in here. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. I'm gonna get this thing assembled put it together and then I can start mocking up and start designing the frame for it to fit into the truck. So I'm excited about this. This is one of the crazy ideas that I had for this truck that I've never seen before ever in a tow truck. Tow truck design, you know, it's a fire truck, tow truck, whatever, you know? So it's gonna be sweet. Usually with uh, kits like this, I'll just kind of throw them together, but I actually, I'm gonna read the instructions and it's nice, it tells me what tools I need. So I'm gonna go get the required tools I'll do a quick time lapse of me throwing this thing together and then I'm gonna start mocking it up into the truck. This was one of the only kits that I found that I was able to more or less modify to fit this truck. All the other kits were kind of like drop into a bed, a gooseneck hitch, and then they didn't really have welding, welding, uh, fifth wheel gooseneck or gooseneck adapters, and BMW was the only one that I found. I'm gonna make it work. This gooseneck is rated for. 30,000 pounds and then the fifth wheel is rated for 22,000 pounds. That's definitely way overkill of what I need. The toy hauler camper is only, I mean, it's rated for 20,000 pounds. So that's 2,000 pounds less than the hitch. But I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna have that much weight in the trailer. So this is this is gonna be perfect. I'm so excited. Let's test. It's 110 foot pounds. So it's pretty, I mean, it's not bad for me, but it's a pretty strong torque. Right, gotta definitely get your back into it. The whole table's rolling. Get over here. Ah, 
that's it. All right, the base of the hitch is all together. Got it all torqued. It was a little tight getting all the bolts and everything torqued, but it worked. So now I'm actually gonna get the top of the hitch on now. This is supposed to just drop in. Like so. Definitely not in yet. I'm gonna grab a rubber mallet. Leather mallet should work. There we go. That side's in. It's a little tight, it's brand new. That's understandable. And then you take these pins that goes in like there those pins prevent the handles from lifting up and then all I gotta do is put this handle on not bad thing's heavy but it works I like heavy duty stuff and I like to go way overkill with anything that I build so that way there's no worries of ah oh, is it too weak just go overkill with it and you'll never have to worry about it again not bad I mean yeah, I gotta tighten up those two bolts but look at this thing not bad at all and that once this is actually installed into the truck this is gonna sit somewhere right about here in this area that hitch drops in you tighten up the pin and then boom now we got a gooseneck and a fifth wheel hitch. Now it's million measurements time. Now I gotta figure out what the average gooseneck hitch height is and the fifth wheel, get that all together. And then I can actually fill up the airbag so I can get ride height. This little hose over here. I just hook up the air to it and it works. Now I'm gonna sit here and ponder for a while and think of ideas on how I'm gonna mount this to the truck. It's gonna be interesting. Wow! Hey, wind, stop it. All right, so this is where the hitch is about gonna sit. Don't don't worry about the angle. The angle's just kind of holding it in place. Um, I am actually gonna make a plate. This hitch is gonna sit under there, obviously. I'm gonna extend these. I'm gonna replace this piece of angle, extend it out to here, get some holes in it, bolt it on, and well, bam, we'll have a hitch. And yes, I know the bed's supposed to be here and the hitch is up higher. You can't obviously use the bed while the hitch is in. But when the gooseneck hitch is in, it'll still be able to work. And this is going to come in and out. And I got a whole plan for that. That's another video. But uh, right now I'm just going to work on making the hitch. Because I can't work on the rest of the bed until I finish the hitch. And yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> this thing's got to work with that thing and that thing's got to work with this thing and all the math has to equal to a good number Yeah, my brain hurts So here's the drawing for the hitch plate Got it drawn up now. I just got to get it onto the computer. I'll get it on one two three. Well, bam Here's the new hitch plate got About a four inch hole in the center. That's where that hitch is gonna go up underneath and weld to I don't want to cut it out. Looks pretty good. So this is the old fifth wheel hitch plate that's on here and it's in the way I don't need it anymore So I've been cutting these bolts off with the oxyacetylene torch 
and I'll show you guys what it what it looks like when I cut this bolt off here. I got that last one, and then I got to do the whole rail on the other side. And there we go. I was able to do that without damaging actually this plate at all and the truck frame. So now I just got to give it a couple whacks with uh, Bubba and the plate will come right out. Bingo. So here's the hitch plate all cut out nice and ground smooth. This is the hole that's cut out for the, for the gooseneck. The gooseneck actually goes up in here like that. It gets welded on the bottom. I'll show you that later. And now I'm making the rails. I just made this one. This is the rail that I guess you would call it a fifth wheel rail that bolts onto the frame. And then this plate bolts onto that and the hitch, blah, blah, blah. It's all together. So I made this one. I'll show you how I drill the holes. I'm going to introduce you to my girl, Maggie. This is my old girl, Maggie. This is a, a mag drill. It's a Hogan with a Black & Decker motor on it. And this girl likes to drill holes. And this is how I got it set up here. So I'm gonna drill one hole. I'll show you how how this how the old girl works, and then I'll just drill them out. So the way these magnetic drills work is obviously this is the bit. There's a little pointer in the middle, and I center punched all the spots that I have to drill. And this has a magnet on it, so you could actually drill sideways, upside down with this thing, and you can let go of the drill, and it'll drill exactly where you leave it. So what you do is I'm gonna drill this hole here. Get the the pointer down. And you're gonna tilt the magnet up just a little bit, get it into the hole, just like that, and then you turn the magnet switch on. Wink. And then you uh, slowly let it down. And that's it, it's in place, it's not going anywhere. So what you do is you lower the pointer again, and most of the time it's gonna be off just a little bit. So you take your hammer, give a little tap tap, one tap there, one couple taps here. And you basically get it lined up, with your center punch hole. One more little tap. And as you can see here, it's right in that spot. See, dunk. Just put a garbage can underneath while you're drilling. It'll catch most of the, the shavings off the drilling. It helps a lot. I'm gonna use some crazy Larry's secret lube. I have no idea what it is. It costs like $100 a bottle. And you know, I actually drilled a lot of stuff on the truck the other day and somehow everything that I filmed got deleted. So I'm re-showing how this drill works. So it's set up, give it a little test. It'll drill. A little bit of Crazy Larry's secret lube and you let it rip. There we go. Super fast, super easy. Got a nice 5 8 hole drilled. And this is a lot better than drilling by hand. You have to do a pilot hole and then a bigger drill bit and a bigger drill bit until you get to 5 8 It's a plug drill bit. It just goes right through as long as you keep it lubed. So this is old girl Maggie. She's, she's done a lot of work in the years and she's done good. So I'm gonna drill up the rest of the holes and then I gotta go run to the hardware store and pick up all the bolts to bolt all this together. And we'll keep going with this hitch. The hitch will be done today. I promise. So last week I had filmed installing the hoist. I got the hoist in. I used old girl Maggie. Drilled out all the holes. Everything lined up perfect. Didn't have any problems. Made the cross brace. And somehow all of the footage got disappeared. It, it got deleted. I don't know where it's at. I'll probably find it at some point. Anyways, that was last week. So now we got the hitch going. 
Got all the angles drilled out, cut up. Now the angles are gonna come into here, the plate's gonna go into there. And then now I actually made the hitch bracket or the hinge brackets, the hinge brackets are gonna be integrated into the hitch as well. So I had to cut these off. And this is why I do not weld anything until I know for sure that it can be welded. Because I'd have to cut all these welds off. So just gotta cut a couple tacks. Bada bing, bada boom. So this hoist is a scissor hoist. It's got almost 65 inches of travel all the way up and down, which is more than I need. So this is actually gonna make this bed almost work like a dump truck as well, depending on uh, the position I put it in. So here is the gooseneck hitch. I got one little tack on it. I got it marked up, squared up, ready to go. So I'm gonna tack it and this is ready to weld. So I'm gonna put nice welds all the way around. And then I built extra gussets and frames that's gonna go all through here. So I'll get this welded in, I'll show you the next part. That's a nice weld. Look at that. All right, the gooseneck hitch is welded in. So I'm gonna clean up all the goobers and then I'm gonna start putting the frames in. So basically this is gonna go in like this. And uh, tack it all together. So here's the underside framing that I came up with. The two long ones are in place. The little ones are just kind of sitting there. Um, I'm gonna get everything tacked up now. And this is, this is way overkill. I probably could be okay with just the 3 8 plate in the hitch. But given this is gonna give it a lot more stability and support, and then once it's all bolted up together onto the truck frame, it's, this thing's going nowhere. It's way overkill. So I'm gonna get this tacked up, make sure everything lines up good, and then I'll weld it all together. So here's the hitch plate upside down, and it's all welded. It looks pretty good. Just letting it cool off now. And once it's all cooled off, I'll get it into the truck. Do not try this at home. I am going to be working underneath this. It's probably not the safest thing to do, but I just got to take measurements and I can put this back down. Once I get my measurements, I'll be good. I got my measurements marked out, as you can see. And now I got to just take, I'm going to do one side at a time. I take the wheels off because I'm not going to be able to fit Maggie, the mag drill in here. And once this side's done, I'll do the other side. The hitch plate is in. I only got a couple bolts holding it in right now because I have to tack these in but it's in <laughs> see we got the uh drop this in boom i got a gooseneck pull that out boom i got a fifth wheel i mean the fifth wheel the rest of it goes on top of this locks in but it works <laughs> all right so now i'm just gonna work on getting the hinges in it's getting dark. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get done today. So we'll see. See how far I get. It's going out good. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a crazy idea? Or do you think this is a cool build? And let me know how my videos are. Do the videos need better editing? Do you want me to do something different? Let me know. Because I want to do... I want to be better for you guys. And I want to be more entertaining. So if you want me to show you more welding, you want me to show you more grinding, or whatever it is, let me know. Put it in the comments below. I appreciate you guys. Well, forgot that I gotta put the wheels on. I'm wondering why it's not sitting level. It's because the frame's all twisted. Once I get the wheels on, set it down, everything will level out right where it's supposed to go. So both hinges are in. Now I'm gonna give them a couple tacks and it's good to go. Everything is all built in together. The hitch is bolted to the frame, which is bolted to the, the hinges. Everything is all integrated. So this is like super way overkill, but it'll never break.
Thanks for watching this episode of Gallery Garage. I love you guys. I appreciate you. We got the hitch in today. Everything's looking good. Uh, definitely needs a lot of welding, but I haven't gotten that far yet. So next episode, I'm going to be working on all the bed brackets and then trying to get the bed on too. So keep watching. Subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Hello, all your friends. I'll see you at the next one. I'm in a hot tub out of a fire truck. I don't know if anyone's ever done it before, but uh, as of right now, I think I'm the first. Going hot? Going hot.